الله وعلى آله وصحبه جمعين وعن أبي هريرة رضي الله عنه عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال سبعة يظلهم الله في ظله يوم لا ظل إلا ظله إمام عادل وشاب نشأ في عبادة الله عز وجل ورجل قلبه معلق بالمساجد ورجلان تحابا في الله اجتمع عليه وتفرق عليه ورجل دعته امرأة ذات منصب وجمال فقال إني أخاف الله ورجل تصدق بصدقة فأخفاها حتى لا تعلم شماله ما تنفق يمينه ورجل ذكر الله خاليا ففاضت عيناه It was related on the authority of Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala that the Prophet sallallahu said there are seven whom Allah will shade with this shade on a day that there is no shade but his shade. A just imam, a youth who grows up worshiping Allah, the Almighty, a man or a woman whose heart is attached to the mosque. Two men who love each other for the sake of Allah. They meet and part for that reason alone. A man who refuses the advances of a noble, beautiful woman, saying, I fear Allah. And a man who makes a charitable offering, sadaqah, and conceals it, conceals it so much that his left hand does not know what his right hand spends. And a man who remembers Allah when he is alone and his eyes are overflowed with tears. So the, the wisdom of this hadith, it shows us that these virtuous actions can, can guarantee us inshallah ta'ala to earn the shade of Allah. The shade of Allah on a day that there is no shade except Allah's shade. And one of them, when it says Imamun Adil, it does not only mean us, right? I just want to make it clear. Because Imam specifically, yeah, one who leads Salah, one, but Imam is also a leader. <clears throat> so it's an Imam, a person who is in a position of leadership, a husband, right? A, 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 an employer. Right, so if you're in a position of authority and you are just, right, that you are just. So here an Imam Adil, a just Imam, uh, a youth who grows up in the worship of Allah, grows up in the environment, grows up with the dhikr of Allah, grows up like, like this example. May Allah reward all the parents that came to today's program on a Monday night uh, and who also made the effort for their families to fast and who made the effort to bring the, the, the children uh, to, to mouth on a Monday night, right? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make your families amongst those that will be under the shade of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So a youth who grows up in the worship of Allah and sometimes it's not only teaching them. Teaching them is one thing. But also the environment, the interaction, the, the coming, the learning the manners of the place. And I understand that there is a little bit of noise, but that's normal. The children have to gradually learn about the etiquettes and manners. And we have to gradually be patient as well. Because we want them here. We want them to benefit from this space. Right? We want them to benefit from this space. Because it's better than, the, than the, the, if they're not in, in this uh, blessed space. Also, um, a person whose heart is attached to the masjid. That's another thing that we should yearn as much as we can on a daily basis to visit the house of Allah. Make it a commitment that you make the intention to go to the house of Allah. Whether in Ma'av or anywhere else. The houses of Allah are the houses of Allah. Right? And that's what brings us together. We go to worship Allah. 
right? So the most important thing is to try to go, to try to frequent the houses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And a person whose heart is attached to the house of Allah, then he's one of those that will be under the shade of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also, individuals, I'll say individuals because sometimes there's specific mention when it says a man, a man, a man, a man. It, sometimes the, the, the specific actually means general and sometimes the general means specific, right? So here, a man also, a man and a woman, right? Who love each other for the sake of Allah, right? Uh, who love atta attachment to the masjid, right? Because there is authentic hadith, right? That the Prophet ﷺ said in Sahih Muslim, in Sahih Muslim, if your woman folk want to come to the masjid, فَلَا Don't prevent them. Okay? The taysir and the rahma in Islam is that Allah understands the responsibilities. The preparing the kids to go to school, the preparing food, this child is sick, that child is sick, this one needs clothes, and the running around, and the, you know, the the, the mothers are like the free Uber, right? They take it, take him here, take him there, take him there, take him there, take him here, right? So there's a lot of exhaustion. So Allah understands that because of that, if they pray at home, they get the same hasanat as if they prayed in the masjid. Not us. Not us men. We're not off the hook. We go work, we should <clears throat> try to come to the masjid. But this is the deen, right? The deen. You know, the women have different circumstances, right? have you know there's uh, 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 the monthly cycles there is the pregnancies right there's many different circumstances so our sharia our islam takes that in consideration al mashaqqa tajlibu at taisir hardship necessitates ease but if they don't have those circumstances and they have the ability to come to the masjid and worship allah in the sight of Allah, men and women are equal. In the sight of Allah. In regards of our relationship with Allah, our salah, we, we both have to pray five times a day. We have to observe Ramadan. We should make hajj if we're able. Right? So there's responsibilities. Also, um, temptations. Temptation is not only uh, a man being tempted by a woman. It also is vice versa. So if you prevent yourself from that temptation for the fear of Allah similar to Yusuf alayhi salam Yusuf wasn't tempted they attempted to, to, to persuade Yusuf alayhi salam but Yusuf alayhi salam immediately said what? قَالَ مَعَادَ اللَّهِ I seek refuge in Allah I seek refuge in Allah that was his response in the ayah when it says لَقَدْ هَمَّدْ بِهِ وَهَمَّدْ بِهَا Right? Right? What does it mean? She, anybody translate لَقَدْ هَمَّدْ بِهِ What does it mean? She desired him, right? وَهَمَّدْ بِهَا Did he desire her? لا Now you saw it. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, I'm the hadith. Hold your horse, don't finish the, the surah, not yet. Not, 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 not yet. In the same ayah, the word means the opposite. In the same ayah, the word means the opposite. She desired him and he refused her. Because that's not befitting for a prophet. This is in Tafsir al Jalalain. And we, we study in the last year of the, uh, the Alamiya, right? <laughs> right? So this is, uh, so the, 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 in the same ayah, the same word means the opposite. She desired him and, she, and he did not desire her. And then Allah aided him with Burhana Rabbi, with the, with the sign of his Lord. And what was the Burhana Rabbi? That he saw in a mirror the image of his face, of his father's face, and that his father hit him in the chest. 
And then he ran towards the door. This is in Tafsir al so I'm not making this, this stuff up. Just to let you know. So this is, it, it, this is taqwa. This is love of Allah, fear of Allah comes to you when it's challenging. Right? So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also the last point is the one who spends in secret for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It doesn't mean that you don't have to, you always have to keep it secret. Like sometimes for motivation of others, you can spend in public. Right? But it doesn't mean that sometimes you do things in secret. For, you want to reserve it with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also praying in private and crying for Allah. Like we mentioned earlier in the story of Hussein alayhi salam, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, Hussein radiallahu ta'ala anhu, where they describe him when he was in the tent on his way to Kufa. He was in the tent, he told the, reading Quran and crying. Reading Quran and crying. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with being under his shade. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us our shortcomings, forgive us our sins, and bless us with the best in this dunya and the best in the akhirah.